bomb.com and I was I'm very impressed like this is impressive this look good Joel this looking good so for today's wash and go I decided to use a brand that I've not used in a very long time Miel Organics one of my friends has been raving about how exceptional the pomegranate and honey curl defining mousse was and since I have dubbed this as curl mousse summer I had to try it so let's get into it so this mousse was apparently formulated for type 4C hair, and I don't have type 4 hair. But I also don't believe in hair types, so there's that. It is infused with shea butter, pomegranate, honey, apple, aloe, and jojoba oil for added moisture and hydration. So it's packed full of great ingredients. I've already washed and deep conditioned my hair as well as sectioned and detangled, so I'm ready to style. Before I apply my mousse, I will be using my favorite leave-in conditioner, the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Leave-In Conditioner, as a base before adding the mousse. So this definitely smells amazing, true to the line, and if you're not a big fan of fruity scents, this might be a little bothersome. The consistency feels very moisturizing. It doesn't feel watered down or overly sticky or tacky. I will say though, compared to the Verb Mousse and the Dew, I prefer the feel of those two over this mousse. I'm not sure if it's because I used a leave-in as a base, which I haven't done in a very long time, but it's not the end of the world. I decided to use my Denman brush to smooth out my hair first, then I will define my curls with my fingers. Typically, I like raking my product through my hair, and honestly, there's just something about my hands connecting with my hair that I love. And I honestly think it's one of the best ways to style my hair. So, so far so good. The definition looks pretty good. No surprise there. Miel's products are typically very good, but I'm more interested in seeing how the product will dry and live in my hair and for how long I could possibly squeeze out this wash day. But so far, I'm very happy. I love how it looks. Today, I will not be adding any gel like I usually do with my foams and mousses because I wanted to see how much hold this product will give me. They said it's a curl defining mousse with hold. So baby, I'm expecting some hold. So I'm gonna go ahead, scrunch the section really good. I'm done with the back section for right now. And then I'm just gonna move on to the other sections and continue to style my hair. So I am all done applying the mousse to my hair. It looks pretty good. There are some areas that I am not too sure about how it's going to come out because I do see some frizz already popping up, but so far so good. Like right here, I keep trying to fix this area right here and I keep, it's just not cooperating with me today. So I don't know, like I, I just don't know y'all. There are some things that I don't love about the mousse and it's definitely not knocking my number one mousse off of his top spot. Not even this number two mousse off of his top spot. It's a good mousse, but it's not something that I would be like, oh my God, it's the best mousse that I have. No, it's really not, not at least not so far. But I'm gonna wait until it dries to see what it's giving me and see how many days of hold that I can get out of the mousse before I give it my final, final review because I wanna, I don't wanna be biased in my opinion. So right now I'm going to sit under the hooded dryer because that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm not gonna diffuse. And I'm gonna see how my hair looks. But yeah, I'm pleased so far. So we are going to see how this dries and then I will come back and show you guys the finished look. Um, but yeah, I'm going to dry right now. So 
So I just popped up from underneath the dryer and the top, like this part is dry, but underneath is a little wet. So I think I'm just gonna finish diffuse the rest. I think it's looking pretty good so far. It is a little flat. So when I fully dry it, then I'm gonna add some serum and then try to give myself a little volume, even though I don't really like volume on day one wash day. Uh, but I think it looks good. I need to use my dryer a little bit more instead of diffusing all the time because I think my hair looks really exceptional from diffuse, not diffusing, from sitting under the, the hooded dryer. My only gripe about it is it doesn't really get the back of my hair and I really have to clip up my hair when I'm underneath the dryer sometimes and it can change, like I would have like a little indentation in my hair which I don't absolutely like. But so far so good, it takes away a lot of the diffusing time. So like I said, I'm just going to go diffuse underneath and then I'm done. But so far so good. I think it's a quality product. product. Um, and yeah, so far so good. So I'm gonna be taking down my hair. Uh, this is day two of my wash and go. I went out last night on my fresh wash and go and i will say that the results after like a few hours were absolutely amazing like i was like was i unfairly biased towards miel like the product was that one product wash and go was really like bomb.com and i was like wow is this what i've been missing so anyway I am going to fluff it out like, oh lord, this look good. This look good, y'all. This looking good. I don't even need to do much. Looks really good. Um, one thing that I don't like about it is it's, I'm suffering from a ton of shrinkage. And I'm thinking it's because I use my Denman brush, which is always like i always get tons of shrinkage with it which is why i don't reach for it as much as my tangle teaser but i think the results are still very very insane like there's so much definition like look at this i do have a little frizz going on right here but i am not it's still really really nice I'm gonna put some, where's the oils to, I don't know, give it some shine. I'll be using this, um, not a lot, just a little bit. I don't need to scrunch anything out because my hair is pretty soft already. It's like insanely soft. So yeah, this is my day two result. I'm very impressed, like this is impressive. I might get probably four days out of this, I'm thinking. Um, but yeah, it's this, this is a good wash and go. So I'm headed out and I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like on day three, which will be tomorrow. Okay, so this is what my day three hair looks like and I'm still very pleased about my results. All I did was tie my hair up with a satin scarf and bonnet and I did absolutely no refreshing. So my overall thoughts on the Miel Curl Mousse with Hold is that it did almost exactly what it said it would do. It gave me shine, definition and certainly all of the moisture and the hydration the only thing that i found lacking truthfully was the whole aspect of the product now again it could be because i used the leave-in as a base so next time i will try to just use the mousse on its own but the lack of hold really doesn't affect my rating and my opinion of this product i think it's an excellent mousse my hair does feel does not feel filmy or producty or weighed down in any way and that's the most important thing for me when choosing stylers so if you're on the market for a really good mousse, I do recommend it, but I will say that I still prefer the Verb Foaming Gel and the Dew Texture Foam. But I will continue to use the mousse with different styling tools, and then if I change my mind, I will hop back on and let you guys know. But it's a pretty darn good product. So I won't be back for day four, 
But thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, please do me a favor and subscribe. I would really appreciate it on my quest for 5,000 followers. Until my next video, see you guys later.